But another problem I can see with this uh, dashboard I'm building is that this text does not fit perfect to some of the column. If I click on Assets Bank, for example, remember I have a dynamic head in here. You can see Assets Bank Financial Summary, but it's not really showing, right? If I click on FBNH, FBNH Bank Financial Summary, but it's not really showing too well. So if I click on GTB, I think the black come out a little bit nice, but still not make too much sense. Black also come out nice on this, but um, uh, I think this black also does not come out nice on this. So black only makes sense for GTB and then maybe UBA. But for Assets Bank, First Bank, and Zenith Bank, I think their black does not make too much of sense. So I can actually write another code that can actually change the color of my font dynamically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write another measure. So I will right click and do new measure. I'm going to call this my new measure dynamic font color, right? Dynamic font color. Font color, right? And just like the last measure that I wrote, I'm going to write similar expression, which is I'm going to start with an expression called switch, right? I want to switch between different value. And then I'm going to use my selected value. Remember my selected value? Whenever anybody selects banks, I want the colors to change based on different things, different scenario. So the first scenario I'm going to type. So since I'm changing only the color for um, Assets Bank, FBNH, and then I think Zenith Bank, actually. So I'm going to actually put some interesting condition here and says whenever anybody selects um, this bank, Assets Bank, because an Assets Bank does not show well on the font. Assets bank color does not look nice. So whenever anybody selects assets bank color, so I'm going to start the argument from here. Whenever anybody selects assets bank, so I'll type assets, right? Whenever anybody selects assets, I want you to show color white, right? I think white will make sense on that font. Then whenever anybody also select um, um, maybe Zenith Bank. I think Zenith Bank also does not look well on that. Zenith Bank, I also want to see color white. Right? I can decide to change another, I can decide to use another color if I, if I like, but I prefer white. Now, whenever anybody also select um, FVNH, so I also want, um, I think color white will also make sense for this as well. So I also want um, color white. All right. So another thing that we also like to show whenever anybody, maybe I've typed those three. So let me just put S, S black, right? So S, I want black color as a font for all of them. So once you can see Assets Bank, Zenith Bank and FBNH change it to white, all of that should be black. That's S. All of that should be black. This is what this expression is actually um, saying. Now, let's look at the expression and let's see how this expression works well on this um, text. Interesting. So I'm done with my expression. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add an expression to this card visual. So this is a card visual using a dynamic uh, title, right? That was discussed in my previous video. Now, I'm going to go to format session. And remember, if you want to change the color of this text, you have to come to data label. And this data label has color. I can actually change this color um manually by changing it to white changing it to black but that is not what i want to do i want to be able to change this color dynamically so i will use this fx to change it right the fx for conditional formatting i'll come here change this to fit value and also come to base field and look for the measure i just wrote which is called dynamic font color right and click ok now you can see that selecting zenith bank my font is showing white if i select uba it's definitely going to show um, um black can you see that black if i select gtb gtb is also going to show black because i think black is fine on gtb then fbnh is going to show white because black does not really show well on this color and then if i select access bank white is also going to show for access bank Right? So I'm dynamically changing the color of the shape and also the font. Another thing I can do is I can also decide to have some visuals and dynamically change the color of the border, the color of the visual itself, 
But for this particular demo, I'll just show you how to change the dynamic color of the border itself. So let me add a card visual. I'm going to add three card visual here, and I'm going to put some measure inside this visual. I want to show equity. Um, I just want to vi visualize equity. I can reduce the the font of this uh, card. Let me reduce the font of this card to 20. 20. Interesting. I also like to switch off the, the background color. And I also like to enable the border. Also add a shadow. I can increase the border radius as well. Okay. So this can make a little bit more sense. All right. So I have this here. Let me duplicate this, um, this card three times. Remember I said I want to create three cards. All right, interesting. So this second card, let me put something else inside there. Uh, this time I'm putting loan here. I want to see loan inside this particular uh, card. And here I'm adding another uh, measure to this, which is deposit, right? So let me also add just a, a bar chart, uh, a column chart. So I'm going to add this column chart. And this column chart, basically, I'm plotting loans by um, different year loan by different year oh, sorry i'm selecting year here so i'll select ac which is the actual npl non-performing loan by year I'm selecting actual so this year should be on the axis um can do a little bit of design to this my small chart here like i don't want to see the i don't really like the the color of that blue i think i always prefer to use black i can come to data color change this data color here to um black actually or another interesting thing i can do is change this color to um the color of the bank right but because of some of the red I may not actually like that in my visual because of the red. So let me just change it to static black. All right. Okay. So I can also do some kind of um, um, remove the background. Does it make sense to remove the background? Yes. I can also um, switch off the Y axis and um, enable the data label. All right, so I have NPL by year. So let me just change this to NPL. NPL by year. All right, so this is the simple chart that I have here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dynamically change the color of the border of this chart. Right, I'm just doing a simple chart here. I'm going to dynamically change the color. So let me add uh, border and then shadow to this as well. So I'm adding a shadow. I'm adding a border. I'm adding a shadow and I'm adding a border, but this border here, I will try to increase the radius as well. Increase the radius of this as well. Yeah, let me increase, reduce the size of this. All right, interesting. So the next thing I'm doing, right, in this dynamic dashboard is I will also like to change the color of the border. Of some of these visual the color of the border of some of these visual right so what I will basically do is just to add that my background color to the border uh, format right so I'll come here come to this format go to my border on that border instead of changing this color manually I'll use this FX right I'll come to format by changing to vid value come to my base on field and change this to the measure I wrote earlier, which is the background dynamic background color. Click OK. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Click on the FX. Change the format to feed value and change this to the measure that I wrote. Dynamic background color. Click OK. I'm going to do this for the for the other one
interesting so i'm also going to add it to this chat the 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 border color of this chat i also want it to be the but the color of the of the background right so i'm going to change this to feed value and then come to consolidated and change it to my dynamic color diamond background color now technically if you look at my dashboard right now you can see that the color of the background also changes right so if i zoom to the background so you can see the color of the border so look at the color of the border it also changed so let me select zenith bank for example and let's see how this dashboard is going to look like interesting so if you look at this dashboard right now you see that everything about this dashboard change even the border color of the uh, card they also change right but i think i need to sort this here let me sort this my year by year so it make more sense um yep and i can also sort ascending so it make more sense now when you are looking at this dashboard with the design if i also click on GTB for example, let's click on GTB Now let's look at GTB. So if you look at GTB really you will see that everything about this dashboard change The background color change the color of the border change and everything change. Let's look at FBNH Can you see how interesting this is right? So this is how to be the dynamic dashboard with different colors in me dynamic change of color I'm going to do a video on how you can actually dynamically highlight some colors in this uh, your uh, trend visual so if you look at this visual right now non performing loan by year sometimes people just want to see the highest and the lowest at a glance right without the need of um, checking it one by one they just want to see the highest and the lowest so we, we may do a color in the next video that will show you how to dynamically update the color of the highest and the lowest Thank you for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe so that you can get more interesting content that will be dropping soon. Thank you.